Personally, I think that mental health is so common in teenagers, but it's brushed under the carpet. I know so many people who are too scared to get help or just get ignored, and luckily I wasn't one of them people. For me, I think that everything started when I started secondary school when I was 11. I was having a lot of problems with my dad. I stopped seeing him. I made that decision at 11. Um, it caused us to lack confidence, any sort of self-esteem. I didn't go out, I didn't have many friends, and more friends I did have, I just had them in school. Um, it got to a point where I wasn't going out. I went to school about two or three days a week. My attendance was so bad, and <sighs> my mum tried really hard to get us to go to school, and I just wanted to be at home and I remember the feeling on a morning where I get where I feel like there was just somebody on my chest and they were just pushing down and they were just like standing on my chest and it was such a horrible feeling that I didn't understand it. I assumed it was normal and I went through this until I was 14. I remember I was out with friends and my friend asked me to talk to my mum because she was worried about us. So I did. I sat down and I spoke to her and I remember how hard it was I remember how it felt and it was horrible and she got upset, obviously I was upset <laughs> and she phoned the GP straight away and I got an appointment the week after and I got referred to a mental health service it took nine months to be referred to that mental health service so by the time I went there I was almost 15 and nothing had improved, everything got worse. During my time in that youth mental health service I seen three different people. I didn't have regular appointments. I did the same worksheets and everything, every appointment and it didn't help. By the time I got into year 11, I, I was taken out of um, I was taken out of school by my teachers and I was part of a behavioural programme because they had found out that I was suicidal. That, it helped and it didn't because it helped with the fact that I didn't want to go to school but then it was also isolating me even more. This was three months before my GCSEs, which I was expected to fail. I went to school from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. I wasn't interested in going. I learned all of the school stuff by myself to do my GCSEs. All my motivation, all my friends were gone. I had literally, I felt like I had nothing. Fast forward a year, I now go to college. I have a great group of friends who I know I can rely on and who I absolutely love. I have an amazing boyfriend. <laughs> I have a better relationship with my parents. I have a better, more positive outlook on life. <laughs> I have been clean from hurting myself for over a year. I am a completely different person now, I have more confidence, although it's taken a lot to be on camera, um, this, this is a very hard thing, and I have a dog. <laughs> I know that tomorrow is a new day, and I know that anything that happens I can deal with now. I want to thank everybody around me who has helped me, or just even been there. Um, I couldn't do it without anybody else. Like, I couldn't do it without all of you. Um, thank you, my family, everybody. <laughs> thank you for giving me the confidence to tell my own story. And I know I kept it short because I didn't want to go into all the details, but thank you. In the past six months, has anything changed about me? 
Keely as a person has developed. She's now more sociable. She um, pushes herself to do things that she wouldn't have done when we first met her. She has a boyfriend now, when we all thought she was gay. Um, that was the first. <laughs> I'm kidding. And no, she seems she's just nicer and she's talkative, and not everything she says is so depressing. Um, I, I feel like Kaylee's confidence has really boosted since she started it. Since she started the course, she was um, wanted to quit, but now she's like powering through, and she has a um, she has a boyfriend always by her side. <laughs> Kaylee has swapped her obsession with depression to drag race. And a boyfriend. So, yeah, if you if she's ever sad, you should put a bit of a RuPaul on. It'll make a day. Right. So over the past six months, like, Kaylee's changed, like, a lot from, like, from first college when I first met her, like, in the cute to get student ID photos taken. Like, she was just quiet then, but now she's, like, more confident, like, willing to speak in front of people now. You changed much in the past six months. I would say quite a lot, really. I think you've gained loads of confidence and I think you've started doing things that you never believed you could do before now.